This video is made possible by PCBWay. PCBWay now offers rapid prototyping manufacturing. They can CNC parts for you, offer sheet metal fabrication, 3D print parts using FDM, SLA and SLS, and injection mold over 100 different materials. Learn more about their manufacturing capabilities in the link below. Alright, it's that time again. No fancy intro, let's just dive right in. I think I'll start with the big ones because they are kind of cluttering up my desk. This one says pliers. Wait, where did the knife go? Oh man, it's in here. How would I get that out? I guess I need some pliers to, to get it out. Aha. All right, let's try that again. More bags within bags. These are some crimpers and a terminal assortment. Uh, I believe these are called ferrules. Ferrules? Ferrules? 1200 pieces. Um, 200 of those ones and 50 of the, I believe those are a bit smaller. Oh no, actually these are the bigger ones. So you have 200 of all these smaller types and then 50, uh, no actually 50 of the gray ones, 25 of the, the other big ones. And these pliers come with some replacement heads. So you can, let's get it out first. Actually, looking at this package, I didn't do that. So what probably happened, they wanted to fit it in one bag like this. It didn't fit, so they just cut off the top. Well, it's okay, it's just the packaging. Now these are some pliers that will lock in place when you have the right crimping force and Oh, it doesn't. Why doesn't it do that? Why doesn't it lock? This thing. Oh, it does lock. Um, but when you have the right crimping force, it will release again. So that in uh, this case, you always know that you're crimping enough. Now, I know there are way better pliers than these but I don't really crimp that much so I thought I might get away with some cheaper pliers and then just order them with some all kind of replacement heads or different heads for different terminals and uh, that once in a while when I do crimp I'll, I'll just get away with using one of these cheap pliers but there's another big one, uh, I mean a big package, which is this one. And these are also some terminals, so let's get that out as well. These are um, some ring terminals and some spade terminals. And this together will make a pretty decent assortment of terminals for when I need them. And I like these assortment kits because gives you a little bit of everything and it has it gives you some choice when you're building a project but you're probably just as curious as I am how these crimp so let me grab some wire and a few of these terminals and let's actually see the crimping result these are some 18 gauge wires so according to the little chart it gives you if you have an 18 gauge uh, wire you should use 
E1008 and uh, well there are only two red ones in here and it's the smaller one so let's grab two of those and this plier now has the wrong um, jaw in it they call it a jaw on AliExpress maybe that's actually the correct word for it so I need some uh, screwdrivers or just one actually to get both screws out and for the ferrule um, terminals you need the 28B version of the jaw so I'll swap those over and we'll have a go at crimping all right either I'm doing something wrong or they sent me the wrong insert for this or the wrong jaw because if you look these are all pretty big and fit in there pretty snug but these are really loose and as you can see these are not as thick as these are well although it's loose it does crimp so I'll just have a go yeah see because this is not tight enough in there it can move and therefore it doesn't close properly so you get this well suboptimal crimp and in fact this is just loose so that's annoying why is this less wide than these am I missing something oh see these are the these are the same these are wide enough to fit in here but these aren't and I wonder why that is what I'm thinking I'm going to contact the seller and ask if this is how it's supposed to be and if so what am I missing because this clearly doesn't work like it should although I still like the idea of all these different jaws for different types of terminals I would like that they would all just work all right next one it says 3d printer parts and accessories a value of thirteen dollars and thirty six cents that suspiciously looks like the Creality font but hmm so these are some TMZ 2208 version 2 stepper driver boards and the big difference is that in this case the adjustment pots for the V ref for the voltage reference to set the current is on top and I should stop doing this because this is annoying on the other boards it was on the bottom so when you have the board plugged in you can't set the voltage reference anymore but now you can because the pot is on the top great improvement another thing that is different is that on this board the stepper motor windings are swapped so on the previous version winding 2 was on top and winding 1 was on the bottom and now it's reversed your stepper will still work it will just be reversed so you either fix that in software or on the connector itself and I bought five of those because these are for my camera slider project and I want five types of movement I would like to have slide pan tilt in any particular order of course and I would also like focus and zoom and uh, these come by the way with some heat sinks which uh, I'm definitely going to use and maybe even put a fan oops and maybe even put a, a fan across them to keep them cool next one it says screws and these are screws and these are a lot of screws in fact there are 800 pieces of these tiny m2.5 4mm screws 
And I use these in the ESP32 touchdown. When you buy one, you get four tiny little screws. And I have ordered or having manufactured 200 pieces of these boards. So that is four times 200 is 800 screws. So this will keep me busy for one evening, putting all these screws in all those little bags. But um, actually I've gotten pretty good at it and I don't really mind anymore. I just sit on my couch, put on the TV or some, uh, some series or some film and uh, spend an evening doing this. And it's actually pretty relaxing. Next one, it says connectors. Well, these are some female header pins. I can't remember. I can't remember what size they are. Well, they're uh, 0.1 inch, but how many of them are in a row? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well, 19 is a bit of an odd number. Um, it's actually just an odd number, but it's also a weird number. But the 38 pin ESP32 dev kit has, well, 38 pins, uh, 19 on each side. So that's where these are for. And I already have a lot of them. A little reminder to myself, stop buying 19 pin headers. And these are today's post bag items. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any idea how to fix this loose thing, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.